Good morning, Supercars of London. I am, for some reason, so excited, and it's way too early. Maybe I'm just overtired, and I'm just super excited about today. It is the flagship day. Oh no, the flagship day is tomorrow as well. So there's two flagship days of Goodwood, and it's over the weekend. All of the cars are out. Like, this is the big one. So I've decided <laughs> to wear this t-shirt, and I'm wearing sunglasses purely because I can't look directly at my t-shirt. Now me and Sam last night were discussing various outfits, and I mean this is going to sound weird, but Sam was talking about that he was going to bring back a t-shirt that was very famous on the Euro Tour when we drove back from Monaco, and I said I just got this new t-shirt that I bought for Portugal. It's much brighter than what it looked like on the website. I didn't think it was gonna come as highlighter, marquee yellow. So I just said to him, look, let's just both wear silly shirts. Sam has arrived, I'm just trying to focus on your t-shirt, <laughs> because look at us. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a Saturday at Goodwood. There is expected to be many thousands of people there. Many thousands, let me get rid of this. Car. And um, our idea is to dress as inappropriately as possible. And this is the Sam's first mile. I documented Tom's first I'm mile. Just, I'm just going to get Are out of the way of a bus. Oh. So it's more on my first 10 meters. Ooh, how does it feel? Can you review the car? Oh. Initial impressions, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we have made it. And what a stunning day for Goodwood weekend. And it's Saturday, one of the flagship days. Sam's blending in with the rest of the trash. <laughs> trash, trash that is around. And um, we are gonna be heading straight in and working out what the best is. Um, what's that? RCF, yeah, I thought yeah. that's what it was called. I'll just double check in. Um, and we're gonna be just heading straight in and trying to get down to the business of films. <laughs> Got a vlog. I don't know who they all are, but it looked quite good. Got to vlog the team photo from Mazda. That was one of the best cons I've ever had in all time. Do you know the guy? I don't know who they are, but they look great. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Holy cow. So we've just seen the supercars head off up the hill. And I have to say, this t-shirt was not my best move. I look like a massive flower to bugs who just see bright lights. I've just got bugs everywhere. But we've got some good footage and that is definitely the start to the supercar sounds video that I'm hoping to make. Uh, we'll go live whilst I'm in Portugal. But now we're gonna enjoy the sun, head out, see what's going on try and see some stands and see some cars. Right, just trying to squeeze my phone in my pocket and we are now heading to the home of Quattro. As you can see behind me, that is the home of Quattro where me and Sam are going off-roading. I'm not entirely too sure what car we're going off-roading in, but of course it's an Audi. It's gonna have Quattro. Maybe it's the new R8 V10 Plus. I'll ask. So we're now signed up, ready to go. We're both driving the brand new Audi Q7 on the off-roading skill test, where we're getting tested on our skill and definitely speed, even though we're being told not that it's speed. <laughs> so basically, we're getting tested on how well we handle the car off-road. And I've done a bit of off-roading here at Goodwood with the BMW X6. So I reckon I'm gonna beat Sam. I'm gonna get in his head. It's me I'm gonna have you. Cool. I'm gonna overtake you right on the finish straight. Yeah, yeah, it's all about Just speed. Just look out for me I hear, in the yeah. rear view mirror. Whenever you're doing off-roading, it's all about speed. So my plan is to overtake you or undertake you maybe on a corner somewhere. Undertaking's illegal. So this is the interior of the new Q7. I'm loving this center console with the big chunky gear select. And there's the steering wheel. It's difficult to see. And Sam is in the car in front, but unfortunately we're not allowed to film or have handheld devices on. So um, from now on, you're just going to have to take my word for it that when I finish, I've won. I have finished and there is my score. Sam, what was your score? I don't know. Why has it not come up on your iPad? It didn't come up. That means he lost. <laughs> Check there we go. 
34th. What does that mean on like in terms of? Am I king? I'm not king of Portra. You're not king of Portra, so you are 34th out of however many people have done it so far. So I got 212,750. Sam got. 115,832 or 104. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, it's lower, not the good. Better. It's lower, better. Lower is the better. It's not because this one has got 265,000. He is called that's King of Quattro. The Jesters of Quattro. The Jesters. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I win by a mile. So I've literally had to change into Sam's jumper because look at this. We are. That is what happens. Sam is literally filming with David Attenborough. So I gave up with my uh, t-shirt, that's in Sam's bag, and I gave up on Sam's jumper because it didn't particularly fit me, and I've managed to find a place that do white t-shirts, plain, pretty much plain white t-shirts, ATW, but it's long life. It's just ideal. Happy man. I'm, I'm a happy man, 20 quid, couldn't go wrong. So um, thank you to ATW Clothing, I think they, that's what they were called. I hope that's what they're called anyway. Um, for being there, so that I was able to. Times of need. In times of need. <laughs> we have made it to the Michelin supercar paddock, and the idea being now that we get to check out the cars that go up the hill climb static. So now I'm um, casually leaning. Where is it? Flagpole. Flagpole. The drivers have been told to get in the cars and we've been told to leave the supercar paddock. So we timed it quite well, had a quick glance over, and now we're going to see them all come out. So I'm going to do my best of filming and take pictures at the same time. What an insane afternoon of burnouts, supercars, noises, and even F1 cars. So I've had a fantastic day here with Sam, and it's time to get in the car and head home. We've been here ages. What time did we get here? Nine. And what's the time now? Quarter past four. So we've been here for a good full day. Um, <laughs> and it's time to get in the car. So I'll catch up with you as soon as we're in the car and I'm resting my feet. So day two has finished at Goodwood and we have the Typhoon Jet. doing his st stuff over there. It's honestly like the coolest thing ever. So loud. And I'm just watching it in awe. But anyway, that is day two finished, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed. It's time to jump back in the RA. Sam's going to drive home. And then tomorrow, I'm back with Ross. So I can't wait for that. He's been to Goodwood plenty of times but tomorrow is the flagship day when they actually time going up the hill apparently all of the drivers go flat out it's going to be insane i'm going to film as much as i can i'm going to get back on this and uh film that jet because that thing is insane and now i don't know what it's doing
But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for more daily vlogs and action from Goodwood Festival of Speed.